Can this little device solve all your iPhone and iPad storage problems? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at this. This little guy is the Naztec Extra Drive Mini and it's pretty interesting. Obviously it's keychain, but more importantly, it has a lightning connector on one end and it has a USB 2 connector on the other end and in the middle it looks like a whistle but there's actually space for a micro SD card. Now the device comes with a 16 gig micro SD card but you can pull it out and you can replace it with up to a 256 gig drive. That's a lot of storage space for a little doohickey like this. Now you would think that the hardest problem here is getting the hardware right. Well they pretty much did that. Turns out the problem is the software. But let's get to that. First off, I want to show you that you pop off the little protective cover, put it in your phone, and in this case, I actually still have the case on and it still works, and it prompts you to launch the Extra Drive Mini app. And when you do, it's a pretty straightforward interface. As you can see, the top represents your phone, and the bottom represents the actual storage unit or drive. To copy something across, you simply drag and drop the circle, right? Theoretically, straightforward and easy. But it doesn't really work that way. So let me step you through this little sequence I recorded. First off, you'll see it only shows that I have 18 photos. But hang on a second. Let's go over to my camera roll. Okay, my camera roll, you can see I have 1,898 photos. Where are the rest of them? I don't really understand. It makes it really difficult. So still, we'll do that. We'll drag and drop and it copies everything pretty quickly. But when I go and look on the device, it's the 18 pictures. That's it. Where is everything? Even more confusing on the part that actually is for the iPhone. If I go into the in-app photos, it shows zero. Where are my photos? Did it delete them? Is it not on the drive? Turns out it is, but the whole software interface is really super confusing and I really don't think they did a very good job with it. So that's really what's most frustrating to me is that I want access to everything. I want to be able to drag everything and say, that's 1800 photos. Do you want to copy all of those? And then to be able to say, yeah, I do. Just copy it all across, right? If I run out of space, okay, that's its job, right? Is to be backup storage. But now once I've copied those 18, if I try to do it again, it it literally says there are zero photos and that is just wrong <laughs> it's just confusing right so let me pop it out though because there's more I want to talk about because in addition to that you know they say that you can replace the micro SD card but it turns out that it fits so deeply in there it's not so easy to get it out a little bit of finagling you can do it and so then here's my micro SD so then I suppose it's actually not a bad micro SD reader for your computer. But then again, here I am with my MacBook Pro and this is a couple of years old now. This is not the latest model and it only has USB-C so I need to use an adapter. Okay, we'll try an adapter. So the adapter is easy enough. You plug it in, the whole thing plugs into the side of the computer. I launch my computer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy across a copy of the latest Jurassic Park movie and it's an mp4 and it's pretty big so we'll see. As you can see from this it takes about two and a half minutes to copy across 2.2 gigabytes of movie but it does eventually get there and if I look I will see in the finder it shows up as SD card and I can look in the finder and there's a folder called photo backups and you know what happens is that it shows me the 18 photos okay that's nice but not super useful where are the rest of my photos still we'll just step that aside so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eject the drive you should always do that generally a good practice and then I'm going to pop it off pull it out go through all of these additional steps it's totally worth it, right? So then I'm going to put the device back in my phone. And now let's see if I can actually watch this movie. 
And the answer is yes. So that's a really great feature. So one of the great features is I can actually access files that I've copied on with my computer and then I can like watch movies on my phone without having the movie take up space on the phone storage itself. So, you know, they got some of the functionality, but that whole backup system is just seriously broken. And I just feel like if they just did a software update, maybe things would just work well. So not sure what to say about that. I will say, however, that this whole clumsy USB-C adapter, they did tell me at the Consumer Electronics Show that they have a USB-C version of this device coming out. So this end will have USB-C and that will have lightning. But I got to say, NASTEC, if you don't do a major rev of your software, then changing your hardware is not going to really fix anything. And it's still going to cause, I think, a lot of confusion and a lot of frustration with your user base. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe other people are having great experiences with it. But uh, you saw and I'm showing you this is how it's working for me. And that's a little bit funky. So before I tell you the price, let me go ahead and ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you subscribe. And if you have one of these devices or a similar device, leave a comment and tell me what you're using and how it's working for you. Because again, I don't know. I don't see how, but maybe this is user error. Maybe there's something I'm not doing that I should be doing. I mean, I even showed you settings. There's nothing there that says show me all photos instead of just the latest. I don't even know what the 18 are. It's not the latest. It's just randomly picked 18. So not a huge recommendation here. The hardware is really cool, but they really need to work on their software. This is the NASTEC Extra Drive Mini supporting micro SD and lightning connector. And it comes with a 16 gig micro SD card for $59.99 at nastech.com. You can upgrade it to 256 gig if you really want, but then you're gonna have to use their software for now. So this is Dave Taylor. I think I am gonna get back to that movie, but I think I'm gonna watch it on my computer because it's a little bit bigger screen, which means I'll catch you in my next video.